I don't know about you guys, but this market never fails to surprise me. Welcome back crypto fiends. Thank you as always for tuning in. Today I want to talk about what I know will be a very touchy subject for some, but I think it's needed right now considering it appears to be the market's main focus. Do know everything shared in this video is solely my opinion, mixed in with some facts. And if you don't agree with anything I say, just know that it's okay. And I'd love to know why you disagree in the comment section below. And remember guys, we have two more Ledger Nano S wallets to give away. And if you do want to enter in, leave a like and a comment down below. And of course, be subscribed to the channel and you will be entered on in for your chance to win one of these two wallets. And we will be picking the winner this Saturday coming up. This video is sponsored by Whole Earth Foundation. We will be touching more on them later on in the video. Okay, so the touchy subject I'm referring to is Elon Musk and all his Dogecoin mania. First, I want to emphasize that I am a huge Elon Musk supporter, and everything he is working on is just incredible to say the least. And I actually got the chance to test drive a Tesla for the first time this past weekend, and holy shit, was it ludicrous. Alright boys, we're about to get our first pull in the Tesla. This has 550 pound feet of torque, 100 more than my Corvette. Let's go. Oh my fuck. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> but today, I'm going to go against the grain and explain to you why I believe Elon's current stance in the crypto space is extremely dangerous and can have major repercussions for everyone in the industry. All right, so we already know Elon is a major supporter of Dogecoin, but over the past few months, it's honestly been pretty hard to determine if this is all just a big joke to him or if he's a genuine supporter of the meme coin. Now again, I know this might offend some, but it's quite hard to believe one of the smartest men in the world is serious about his Dogecoin passion and beliefs, considering the creator of Dogecoin himself that again made Dogecoin as a complete joke in a matter of literally two hours thinks this has gone way too far and can be extremely detrimental for all of those involved. Are, are you shaking your head now that it's uh, exploded and, and now receding? Not really, like I, I haven't really been involved closely with Dogecoin uh, for a couple of years now, mostly because it, it started as a joke and I think it's important that it, it stays that way. For me now, I really think of Dogecoin as kind of my barometer for how much Bitcoin mania and crypto mania has kind of taken hold and how much kind of, you know, dumb money is flowing into the space. You know, if, if a coin that hasn't had development in multiple years um, can go up to $2 billion, um, then it's really a sign of the times and I think that's something that a lot of pe more people should be paying attention to. Huh. Now, some may argue that yes, Dogecoin started as a joke, but it's turned into a currency with real world use cases. And to that, I'd say you are partially right, but mostly wrong. You see, as of now, the only utility Dogecoin really has is to be spent with roughly 1,300 merchants globally, which is great, don't get me wrong, but do understand that having an inflationary crypto as just a form of payment probably won't last long, and it doesn't help the argument that wherever Dogecoin is accepted, so are dozens of other cryptos. You see, in order for a crypto to have true utility, it needs to have purpose from the start. For example, Chainlink, although it is accepted by merchants around the world, its main utility is being the literal link between real world data and blockchain, making the Oracle ecosystem irrelevant without the ability to use the link token. Now, some will make the argument that Bitcoin is no better than Dogecoin, like Elon Musk has been essentially implying the past couple of days on Twitter. And to that, I'll say you're on crack if you think Dogecoin is superior. We already know that Dogecoin has an infinite supply with a roughly 5% inflation rate per year. Not to mention, there are currently no developers constantly working to improve the Dogecoin ecosystem, regardless of Elon's claims. In my opinion, he's full of dog shit. Dogecoin development has been dead in the water for years, and to think Dogecoin's dev ecosystem is going to magically come to life is a pipe dream, even if Elon is backing it. Likewise with Bitcoin, we already know the dev community is massive and is proving to get stronger day by day. And if you haven't noticed already, hedge funds and enterprises around the world have been buying up Bitcoin nonstop to be used not just for merchant purchases, but as a hedge against inflation, a store of value, and being classified as digital gold. 
And if you haven't noticed just yet, the only big companies talking about Dogecoin are exchanges looking to rake in the fees and liquidate uneducated traders, and a handful of companies looking to drive their products by being Dogecoin friendly. Other than that, in my opinion, 90% of money flowing into Dogecoin are retail traders speculating and hoping that they make a quick buck, and mega whales looking to manipulate the crap out of said retail investors. Remember guys, over 50% of Dogecoin is owned by 10 people, making it one of the most centralized cryptos in the entire space. Now getting back to Elon, his tweets lately about crypto have been an annoyance and has caused most of the crypto industry to question his stance. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with someone stating their own opinion. But when you have the reach of Elon Musk, you better damn well make sure your statements are 100% accurate when you're claiming facts. On May 12th, one day after tweeting if Tesla should accept Dogecoin as payment, Elon stated that Tesla will no longer be accepting Bitcoin for vehicle purchases due to environmental concerns, stating we are concerned about the rapidly increasing use of fossil fuels for Bitcoin mining and transactions, especially coal which has the worst emissions of any fuel. Which first off, this is not even close to correct, and you'd think the largest EV company in the world would have looked into this before buying $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin. Do you know Bitcoin's carbon footprint is solely determined on the amount of power the network consumes? This does not factor in green energy use, which as of now, nearly 70% of the Bitcoin network is run on green energy. And when taking a look at the true scale of Bitcoin's electricity consumption without factoring in green energy, we can see it's very minuscule in comparison to Tesla and SpaceX, which makes Bitcoin look like a dot on the map. And if you didn't know, Tesla's charging stations are partially powered by coal, which although in the long run will greatly reduce emissions compared to traditional vehicles, the irony in his statements are ridiculous, especially factoring in the environmental impact Tesla causes when mining lithium and other precious metals for their vehicles. And when taking it a step further and comparing Bitcoin's CO2 output compared to the rest of the world, we can instantly see this is the biggest dog shit sandwich ever, with Bitcoin taking up only 0.13% of the world's CO2 emissions, which again is not factoring in green energy use, which again makes up roughly 70%, which actually makes Bitcoin's CO2 output about 0.091%. In my opinion, Elon's recent attacks on Bitcoin are from something much larger than Tesla's concern for the environment. Unfortunately, we will never know the truth, but what I do know is that the Bitcoin community is the most ruthless and intelligent group of individuals in the world, and most certainly aren't going to let one man get in the way of bringing true financial freedom to everyone around the world. And in regards to Dogecoin, you guys already know my stance at this point. If you want to try and make a quick buck, best of luck to you, but just know when this meme crumbles, it's going to happen fast, and you don't want to be the butt of the joke. And the same goes for Shiba and all these other dog tokens out there. In the end, true utility that's changing the world will be what stands 20 years from now, and that's what I recommend you all focus on investing in. I know it might not be as fun or the gains might not come as quickly, but at the end of the day, keeping those gains and building your wealth over time is what's actually sustainable. And those that are focused on just that will be the ones that make it in this space. Next up and lastly, I wanna share with you the Whole Earth Foundation. This is a nonprofit organization that builds, provides, and operates a citizen-involved environmental infrastructure information platform of course using blockchain technology. Their vision is to democratize infrastructure management as they see a growing issue of aging infrastructure. The foundation is here to solve this common problem by providing low cost incentives to citizens who provide information related to infrastructure that contributes to the public good. This can be implemented for a variety of use cases, whether that's water, energy, waste management, the list goes on. 
They'll offer intuitive tools for anyone to utilize the environmental database where users can create reports about the condition of local infrastructure, share the latest information with the community, and also use intelligent machine learning applications powered by the environmental database to obtain predictive insight about local infrastructure and make smarter decisions. Whole Earth Foundation just recently announced a collaboration with one of Japan's leading water-related infrastructure companies. This project will foster citizens' awareness of their participation and develop a highly real-time information infrastructure that will serve as the basis for reducing the maintenance and management cost of environmental infrastructure. Through this initiative, they will contribute to the formation of a sustainable society and the realization of asset management, as well as the promotion of digital transformation in the industry. Lastly, the WEC token will play a crucial role in the ecosystem. Further service providers and partnering organizations that wish to collaborate on projects with the foundation or utilize the foundation's networks and tools can purchase WEC tokens as a subscription fee for maintaining a partnership. The foundation is also actively looking at creating avenues to use these tokens for goods and services. Their token sale is currently live until May 20th on Finex Box and also on ProBit where participants can earn up to a 10% bonus in WEC tokens. If you'd like to learn more about their token sale, I will leave the links down below. But overall, I really do like what the Whole Earth Foundation is up to, and their team of extremely experienced bright minds and their current partnerships makes this a recipe for success. If you want to learn more about them, all the necessary links will be down below. And if you found this video informative and want to see more like this, let me know by leaving a like on the video. Thank you guys as always for watching, and I'll catch you in the next.